Uh, well, you you are in the in the kind of a scene as well, I guess, and uh, you you talk to people and uh, you might have heard some stuff as well. So if you if you have any uh, thing that comes into your mind as well about like common things, you know, please let me know and I'll answer it. But oh I yeah, I'll I can, can ask you many. Yeah, like keratin. What when people tell you they would like to take keratin? What is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, creatine as a supplement, you know, creatine is actually involved into the muscle contraction. So if we're talking about the uh, biochemical side of things, we're going down to the molecular biology and we're seeing how creatine is released into the muscle to allow the contraction of the myosin and actin. So these are the muscle fibers. But if we talk like in simple words, these more creatine, we allow you actually to have a uh, better squeeze of the muscle for longer so we become actually stronger and they actually uh saw that in different studies so the effectiveness of creatine has been tested for so long so there's no uh, doubt that creatine makes you stronger so a lot of strength athletes they use it but firstly it needs to use it needs to be used properly so there's a loading phase that a maintenance phase and there's an offload phase as well that uh me as a nutritionist usually recommend to different athletes based on their sports and their needs and what level they are as well. Because some people might be professional athletes and going for the Olympics, and some other people might just be a recreational athlete training in the afternoon. So you don't need the same amount of this supplement for the results you need to get. But secondly, talking about as well, uh, losing fat and you know bodybuilders and stuff and people that want to look good, there's always a downside to creatine, which is uh, water retention. And water retention is caused by creating naturally because it needs more water to squeeze the muscle because the muscle is requiring more nutrients and water is what makes as well the whole muscle living. So if we actually put in more water to the body, then of course we increase a little bit of body weight and we become stronger because you know the heavier we are and the more that we can lift. But at the same time, think about, do you want to be a bit stronger or do you want to look a bit more defined? Because if you actually in a definition type of plan, I always uh, avoid my clients have been creating because if we lose that little bit of water retention, then of course we might decrease a little bit of our strength, but then we can still use our uh, strength in a different way. So we use the weight in a smart way where we still have a lot of intensity on our muscles, but at the same time, we're not holding that water. So we look better because if we uh, release that uh, water that is like under our skin, we reveal more of what's under the skin, which is the muscles. So we lose that layer of water that might be retained with creatine. But if we're going on an off season kind of thing, and uh, we want to actually be stronger and lift more weight, mm -hmm. and of course that, that uh, there's always out to people. But usually this is more around strength than losing weight, I guess, because a lot of people on a normal weight loss journey or whatever, they don't usually touch supplements and uh, some of them, they might touch some uh, fat burners and stuff, but at the same time, again, if their diet is not on point first, you cannot actually supplement with supplements just for the sake of it. Supplements are not magical. They are supplementing, as the world is saying, uh, a proper diet and a training regime. So you need to have that in place first.